Hello, welcome to Miller's Musings number 14, I believe. Probably got that wrong, which means I've just ruined the entire video, but let's not worry about that. Let's not stand on ceremony here, Mr. Wayne. Uh, as always, if you are brand new to Miller's Musings, welcome. It is a weekly Vogue series where we talk about life, mental health, ups, downs, left, rights, all the things that more people should talk about, and they don't. So I decided I was going to talk about them. Now, am I an authority on this? No. Do I have any ed education in this? No. I just have life experience. And again, I just think having the conversation when it comes to stuff like, you know, anxiety, mental health, depression, is actually half, not half the battle, but it's some of the battle. Like, the more we talk about it, the more real it becomes. And hopefully, the more or the less people start to feel like they're, you know, they're not alone dealing with this and that everyone... My whole thing for this, you know, my whole catchphrase for all of this is we're all struggling and we just find a way to get through each and every day, which sounds a bit negative, but I mean it in a good way. I mean it in a positive way, in the sense that we're all just human beings on this, you know, going through this crazy journey. And yeah, you know, you can't expect to be happy or elated or up all the time. That would be unrealistic. Now, oh, move that. Today we're going to talk about something maybe a little bit different than what we've talked about before, but something that I certainly wanted to talk about. And so, you know, again, I always pick up on things online or things I hear. I think, oh, I want to talk about that. Uh, and it is indeed body shaming, which is a very potent and uh, topical topic <laughs> in 2018, especially at the moment, especially with the stuff, uh, the likes of social media, as all these things seem to seem to tie into. Now, um, it's a difficult thing to talk about in many ways, because I'm going to have to get quite personal with some stuff, but I don't mind doing that. I mean, that's the whole point of these things, is to put yourself out there. Um, my... The thing I never understood, that body shaming is a real thing, right? It's, it's, a, it's a real, real problem. And uh, for me, from phase one, point one, where I am as a human being, and when I start looking at this, I cannot understand why anybody else would even give a shit about somebody else's physique. Uh, now, I understand most of the times, at least nine times out of ten, it actually comes from a position, of, a position of weakness by whoever is doing the body shaming. They are either jealous of someone, or they feel like someone's achieved something they haven't achieved, or whatever, and they think, well, I'll try and drag them down to my level. And we can say that with a lot of things, especially stuff, if you achieve something and you're getting negativity from somewhere, I bet my ass that the person giving you negativity is because they're jealous of you. <laughs> That's usually what it is. Otherwise, why wouldn't you feel happy for your fellow man, or, or why would you even care? I, the way I look at it is, you're either happy for your fellow man or woman, or you don't give a shit. Nothing wrong with not giving a shit. If someone does really well, you don't know them, just let them get on with it. Why on earth would you go out of your way to, uh, to try and drag them down? But when it comes to body shaming, however, I think it starts... It's the problem with the internet, right? Because of how the internet, how social media works, when, you, when someone does body shame, it's almost as if they're saying it, but they don't expect the other person to see it, right? That's, I, I think that's 50%. I don't know why I'm know about percentages. But I think as a lot of people do that. It just, it's, it's a reaction which is what social media is a lot of the time. They see a picture of someone, they think, oh, did you see that guy? Didn't they look terrible? Now, that then gets into the stratosphere, and eventually people start saying it to, we'll say, quote-unquote, regular people, because a lot of it is aimed at celebrities and things like that. I don't like regular people, or regular people, you know what I mean. Uh, and eventually that does get back to them, and that can cause serious mental health issues. Uh, it can cause eating disorders which are obviously tied into all of, all of that stuff. And really, it's just not very fair. Now, the reason I wanted to bring this up is, yes, I'm a, a very keen gym goer. I'm a, I bodybuilded since I was 18, so a long time now. I was 18, 16, even longer. Uh, my joints hurt all the time. And yet, throughout my tenure in, uh, you know, on the internet, on YouTube and stuff like that, you know, a lot of people will say stuff. Um, and I won't lie. More, more often than not, I don't really care. I don't really care. I, I lift weights for me. Uh, am I happy with my physique? No, but that's where the, mot the motivation comes from to keep going. Um, do I have up days and down days with it? Of course, because I'm obviously passionate about it. It's obviously something I care about, otherwise I wouldn't go. So some days I can look at myself and go, hey, you're looking pretty good. And other days I can look at myself and go, yeah, not too, not too happy about that. Then when you throw in the kind of the external factor of someone going, you look shit, mate. Yeah, if you catch me on a bad day, you're probably going to, you know, irk me a little bit. But it, I think maybe it's different for me, because what irks me the most... For example, a video of my wrestling debut went up, uh, up recently, and there were a few jackass comments on Twitter going, oh, Millie, don't work your legs, work your calves. Well, I do work my legs. I work my legs harder than any part of my body, and I do work my calves. Whether or not they grow or not is, is kind of out of my, out of my control. Um, and it annoyed me from, from that perspective. It's like, well, no, I mean, I ignore these people. I'm not going to give them the, the time of day. Yeah, but it annoyed me from, a, well, I do do that, and who are you to, to criticize me? But then I let it go. But I also thought, well, look, it has... It has, uh, you know, created a reaction in me. You know, it has triggered me a little bit. So I'm sure that could be, you know, worse for somebody else. That's why I decided to talk about it. Because 
I mean, maybe it's different with muscles because muscles are ridiculous anyway. But maybe if you're a bit overweight and you know you're a bit overweight, or maybe you're severely overweight and somebody calls you fat or says, you know, that, that, that's, you know, there, there is the potential there to, potential is probably the right word, but it, you know, it, that could affect you extremely negatively because one, who is this person to say anything to you anyway? I mean, how low and how, you know, depressed, I don't like that with the word, yeah, but we'll go with depressed or depressed or how much is this person struggling that they feel like they need to hurl their negativity onto you? I mean, my word, what the hell is that about? But you don't know that. And then you are the person that has to go away and then try and process those thoughts and decide how has this made me feel? What am I going to do? Maybe, you know, a lot of people, they hear those kind of stuff and they'll eat more because that's a reaction, right? Comfort eating is a real, is a real thing. And eating can make you feel good as well. Your body will release certain chemicals uh, that makes you feel good about all that stuff. And I do think it's a problem. And so basically, that's why I'm making this video because I'm hoping that if you do watch it, you think, oh, that's happened to me. Just, again, it's, it's more of like a, as a, like a cult mentality or a group mentality. Cult's a terrible word. But hopefully, yeah, this just makes you realize that it's not just, it's everybody. Everybody, I get it all the time. Um, and it kind of, it, 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 like I said, it, it bothers me on, on a surface level, but I'm very good at just forgetting that stuff and getting on with my day. And also, no one's a better critic of me than me. So that's the real voice I have to answer to. You know, I'm in competition with myself. That's how I've always seen it. So I don't really mind what anybody else says. But it's still, you know, it's still, it's still I just think... My, my problem with it is, why is anybody saying anything to begin with, especially in this sort of fragile society that we live in? It would be a lot nicer if, if that wasn't a thing, because really, you can be whatever shape and size you want to be. It's your choice. It's your life. You want to be a big fat guy? Great. You want to be a muscly guy? Great. You want to be a really thin guy? Great. An old girl. I, I use guy for both. But, um, you know, I think that's entirely up to you. And yeah, there's arguments about the N NHS and health and things like that, but that's not for me to comment on. Who am I to, to, to criticize somebody's health this is my you know close mate and I feel like I should say something sure um but then this tied into something else as well because this is something I would struggle with like you can ask anybody that knows me I'm not a dude that likes whipping his top off by any stretch of the imagination in fact I hate it I didn't even like wearing a vest um and I think it's twofold I think it's one um you sort of get worried about what people's perception of you is like again I did my wrestling debut I wore a singlet and a lot of people decided to tweet me telling me well you're not as big as I thought you were it's like well I never I never intended to to, to live up to whatever your <laughs> you know whatever your vision of me was so sorry but thanks for letting me know but it does get you think well but also just in general um you know I <laughs> you can tell I'm getting into personal stuff here because I start starting over my words but yeah I mean to be completely honest with you like I've had a, um, I don't want to call it a skin condition, because that, that sounds extreme to say the least. But, you know, when I'm stressed or when I'm tired or when I eat certain bad foods or whatever, sure, you know, I will, I will get breakouts like anybody else. And that, you know, I've had it since I was a kid. I got bullied at, uh, bullied at school because of my, um, uh, I wouldn't call it acne, so to speak, but we'll call it acne for now. Um, and, I, and I've always had that. Uh, and I was, you know, I thought hopefully one day, you know, when your hormones balance out, it will go away. And it's never gone away. And that has always stuck with me a little bit because you don't want to get judged. Uh, you don't want anybody to think, well, I mean, my, 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 my thing has always been, because I get this all the time as well, talking about bodies, like, oh, he's on steroids, he's on so many steroids. If I was on steroids, I would tell people I'm on steroids. I've got loads of mates that are on steroids. Um, good for them. You know, it's not something I ever wanted to tap into. Not even going to get into that here. That's my personal choice. There's no, I don't need a reason as to why or why I don't, but I don't. But then you do have the stigma of, oh, look, he's got spots of root. I don't have loads, but, you know, that, that gets in my head. And because that has been sort of increased by the scrutiny and by the intensity of social media, it did get in my head when I was younger, sort of in my early 20s. And it's still something that, um, you know, rolls over today that sometimes, you know, if I you know, feel a little bit self-conscious, you know, I do have all these old thoughts, you know, that, that, that come that come to the forefront of my mind, and that sucks, to be honest, because you just want to be able to get on with your own life, who gives a shit what state my body is in, or what I look like, or what I don't or do have, and anyway, my point with sharing that is that I completely understand it, um, but what you have to remember, at least it's how I see it, is that it's not you. Let's say that you are overweight and you know you're overweight and you need to, need to sort it out. You don't need Bob722 telling you, do you, on the internet? And also, it's not a Bob722's business. If your mate Dave tells you, that's completely different. He'll, he'll approach it in a, in a way that's probably appropriate. But, you know, you, that, that's the point. If you're in, uh, you know, a, a shape that you don't believe to be correct, I mean, what terrible phrases, you know what I mean then you don't need anybody else telling you. And I think that really can cause, I think it really can cause some, some stress and some, some negative thoughts. And also, if you are trying to rectify and you're in the middle of a program and someone says that, it can knock your motivation, it can knock your confidence, and that's even worse. And I hate all of that stuff, I really do. 
Um, I just, I don't even think it should be a thing. I just don't. I think I'm, I'm a positive guy. I like positivity. Um, if somebody came to me and they were overweight, so do you think I'm overweight? I want an honest answer. I would tell them, but I would tell them in a positive and a productive way. I don't like all this just shouting and, and trying to tear people down over the internet. So I thought, you know what? I'll share my experiences. I'll share my worries. I'll share my self-confidence issues, which I've never really done. Like it's only a handful of my friends that I've ever talked this about. But I've decided, you know, you know, we either go in or we don't go in with all of this and we're going all in, which is a nice resting reference. Well done to the all in guys. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd talk about that today. We've just come to the 10 minutes mark, so I will start to wrap up. I want to thank everybody as always for watching these, especially the kind comments that I get. The comments I get are my favorite thing about this. It really does feel like we've built a little community here, and that makes me happy, and it inspires me and motivates me to, to do more. So thank you to everybody out there as well. People also ask me this. I don't like mentioning this in these videos, but yes, I do have a patron at patreon.com for Simon316. If you want to support me, great. If you don't, it's great. That's not what these videos are for. Um, and I never want them to, to, to think they are. Uh, my other videos are, absolutely. That's me trying to make a living. But this is uh, you know, me wanting to, to give something back, share my own stories, my own personal situations, to hopefully, like I say, build a group mentality and that we can all get through the day a bit easier because that's what it's all about. We're all getting through the day. That's it. We wake up, we go to bed, we do it again. Right, but do like, share, subscribe. Do leave a comment. Please do let me know what else you'd like me to talk about. I'm happy to talk about anything. Uh, if I'm passionate about something, that certainly will take center stage. But yes, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you next week.